evening all welcome to tanky mctanxon and uh <laughs> this is dust and well it's the minion clone event happening right now and um it's saturday and i haven't even started it yet so that kind of sucks doesn't it i um oh, i don't know i think destiny has kind of got me a little bit um let me, let me tell you why because there's quite an interesting discussion happening here because um, one of the things that I'm really quite surprised at, let's say, is um, I think the, the reality is is that Destiny is is going to take a few people away from Dust, which sucks, I know, but you know I think we're going to have to be quite honest and open about that because um, one of the things that I think Destiny has got that I really would love to have seen in Dust, and I guess they tried this with PC, but it's just just so much more with with Destiny was. Um, the ability to do certain raids, strikes, things like that is obviously quite cool, it's quite important, etc. But I think it's more so the progression of the character. I think one of the one of the things that, that Eve has better than any other IP out there, probably to a degree, is um, is depth. The, they can talk about all the various races, the sub-races, the, the technology, everything. There's, there's so much there that they could talk about. So with um destiny you're yeah you're getting lots of different types of um currencies and marks and achievements and special rare items not just officer gear because that's kind of one that's just singular you're getting strange coins you know strange artifacts you're picking up lots of very unusual rare things and i think when you think of like how um eve is a lot of eve's kind of unique selling point is actually the fact that there is the ability to get officer mods officer weapons officer ships officer this officer that etc now it's kind of a shame that dust never did this to the same degree because i think really what people i mean to be honest what people are playing destiny for now is the specials so it's what legendary rare gear they can find and blah blah, blah. and yeah there's that's actually quite the um the interesting kind of point because that's really all people are playing for right now is that kind of special rare ultimate kind of gun gloves you know dharma whatever it may be and that that really could have been one of the interesting points of um, of dust was unique rare faction stuff more so than they did again faction is just a, a cop out in my mind it's just a cheap form of a prototype i actually mean having you know maybe in one battle out of a hundred you'll get one suit which is twice as good as the normal suit so then there is such a desperation to keep that I guess the problem is is that what, what you generally end up with is the, the reality is so many people can just play this game AFK. That's the problem. You can't do that with Destiny. It's impossible. You actually have, well, you just can't do it. You have to um, basically uh, play the game. You have to kill things. You have to run around and do stuff. Whereas in this game, a lot of people can just AFK. A lot of people can just ride off a gang's benefit, etc. So it's kind of a disappointment to me that they can't really do that. Um, I would love to have seen much more kind of unique items, unique one-off rare stuff that you, you would actually run the risk of losing. Um, officer gear is not the right level. So you'll get three Thail rifles, for example, every 50 matches or something. Um, maybe more, in fact. But even the way, you still can get officer stuff relatively frequently, which, you know, it, it doesn't have the same kind of appeal to it. But it's the right direction. It should have been, you know, a really unique, I don't know, um, suit, a really unique tank, a really, really unique gun, more so than the, the, the officer stuff. It should have been a legendary stuff. Do you know what I mean? They, they could have done a little bit more with that. All of this matters for not, because, to be honest... They're not going to change Dust anyway. Dust is a product. It's there. That's what it is. This is what it is. Having the Million Clone event, you know, with the cynical nature that I have, I think the Million Clone event is to keep the population playing the game. The worst thing you can show a, a, a board of, um, you know, a business or even investors is, you know, a dip in people playing your game because it means pretty much that the game's dying, and that's obviously not what they want to do. Um, having the Million Clone event is very clever because it will mean that people will rush back to play this game. However, are you going to do a million clone event every weekend, uh, CCP? I doubt it. So this is why I think there needs to be a little bit of reality check here that there should be just that little bit more to do with the game. And I, I made a post about this on the forum. If I remember, I'll post a link in the thread. But um, if not, check Twitter because I tweeted it. Basically, it was um, it was something that I think I've felt for a while now, which is, you know, I, I, I hear detail all the time. So when, when you hear Ritati, when you hear... Um, the CPM, when you hear anybody, you know, in relative authority, dare I say, talk about this game, what you get is a very detail-driven conversation. So 
it, you know, the changes that people want are, for example, a fifth launcher on Swarm launcher, a um, a third slot on this, a you know a, a ten percent buff to that, and that is detail. That's minutiae. And to be honest, none of that matters. It really doesn't matter. And this is my frustration with it all because the reality is is that the, the you know, a, a percentage here and a buff there and a slot there is not going to save this game. Nothing like that is going to save this game. What would save this game is a, a, a deathmatch uh, mode where everybody fights everybody. It's simple. Surely that's an easy fit, a patch, isn't it? Just build a free-for-all, everybody against each other deathmatch. Not team deathmatch. Everybody versus everybody. Build another one, which is a bounty system. So you can all join a lobby. Basically, you, know, you can then all place bounties on each other. Okay, massively open to exploitation, but hey, that's fun. And just let those players fight each other in a one life round. These are all the simple game ideas that you see done so well in other games. And it, it, to me, it frustrates the hell out of me that you can't do that. Why can't people put a bounty on me and come after me and kill me for that bounty? Why? Why is that not in the game? I thought this was supposed to be an Eve product linked to Eve. That's what Eve is all about. So many of these things are like, do people just don't think about. You know, what people seem to really, here's a thought as to why this is a problem, because there is a pride in knowing this game better than others, okay? When I first went to Eve Fest, the thing that I first found when I got to Eve Fest was, wow, I know nothing about Eve compared to these guys. These guys made it their business to know absolutely everything. And it was almost who could be the better nerd? Who is the better nerd here? Who knows the game better than the other person? Because what you find is that little bit of ego and hubris of, oh, well, didn't you know that, bro? And I'd just be like, no, because I actually go out with women. <laughs> it's, just like, it's just this kind of ironic, you know, weird nature of some players where their, their knowledge of the game means everything. And I think those are also, unfortunately, the people who are fanatical about games. And they're also the people that go into these positions like the CPM and also develop the game. Um, and they, they miss the big picture, which is, is this a fun game? And the answer is, fucking hell, no, it's not. There needs to be so much more to do with this game. We've got all of the toys in the world. Tanks, guns, knives, bats, sharp sticks. We've got all of the suits. We've got, all, we've got everything we need in this game already in terms of content okay suits guns ammo armor yes you can polish that yes you can always add more but we've got enough what we need really is more ways to lose them and use them and this is my biggest biggest problem with this game at the moment after playing destiny and seeing the richness of the different game modes the different missions the different things you can do the different depth the different quality the different the different severity the different casual nature of what you do um, I realize that this game is so old now comparison to those kind of games. This is ancient design you're seeing right here. And I think CCP's biggest, biggest problem is their inability to change this game. If they cannot add new game modes, if they cannot add anything interesting and new to the game, and it's going to be this endless three matches or PC or, uh, you know, pretty much it's the same match over and over in the same maps. You're not, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not really going to grow. It never did grow. You know, from the day it was released, it didn't grow. It shrank. And I think this is my kind of issue, is that it shouldn't have been that way. There should have been more focus on more things to do with more different ways to do it and more different interesting modes of play, you know, not necessarily the domination. Because, unfortunately, what happens now is... You know, unfortunately, this is where power players going into positions of authority end up just making it even worse because the reality is, is if the cpm continues to focus ccp's attention on swarm buffs and changes to this and adding that and doing this to the minutiae then it, the game's never going to go anywhere what what i would have hoped the cpm would be doing would be saying give us another game mode give us another reason to do give us something else give us this ability to change the game somewhat and i think that would have been just the most received thing that they could have done i certainly would have loved it because I think at the moment that it just feels too constricted. It feels like a prison, and that's the topic of next video. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.